All right, hello everyone. I think we are on live and I'll just do my couple little clicks here just to make sure that we were on and then we can get some people joining us on this, what has turned out to be a rainy day. I didn't know it was gonna rain. I was planning on taking a walk after this, but that's not happening. Uh, let's see, here we go, perfect. All right, we are live. If you're here watching, say hello. Let me know you're here. Send this to expand. Oh, there we go, perfect, okay. All right, so it looks like we have a couple of people on, but be sure, write, write, a, ugh, write a comment, say hello, say where you're from, say what your weather is. Mine is really starting to rain now, which is too bad, I wanted to take a walk. But oh well, I will just clean my stamp room. <laughs> Probably not, but I'll find something to do. All right, so today um, I said we're gonna make some Sea Life cards with the Simply Marvelous Marvelous paper. Um, the paper is a celebration item and I thought I would focus on that because celebration is almost over. Very sad. So this is that, oh, I just love the blue, but the, look at all these colors. All of them are good, but my blue is my favorite. This is the Simply Marvelous, if I'm saying it right, um, paper. And so that's like the marble ice. Well, actually, there's two different types of marble ice side. That side, and then this side is like, that looks like definitely like the Carrera Stone. And then, oops, doing this wrong. Um, oh, I can't even think. Here we go, using the wrong hand. Um, so it's all different types of marbleized paper. So we're gonna make some Sea Life cards using that. And I'm going to show you where my inspiration come. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for saying hello and joining. Um, great. So it's much more fun when there's people watching instead of what you think is just talking to yourself. Great. Okay. So there's more people. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to flip the camera. And um, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Did you see that it's the number two Tuesday um, because it's two slash 22 slash 22 um, and I wrote about that in my little um, email today it's kind of fun I need to let my daughter know who I'm sure knows but she's a math major so she just loves numbers all right oh Cindy you're first live and I need to write back to you I haven't forgotten about you I just haven't been able to so I will do that I'm glad you're watching live hi Mary Lou hello Dawn and Debbie all right I know Kim usually watches, but she has an appointment, so she's gonna watch later, but hello, Kim. And great, all right. So I'm gonna flip the camera. Give me a sec here. Just cause it's, yep, now I need to rotate. It's much better to see what I'm doing instead of looking at my face. All right. So I'm gonna move that down a little bit. It's like always a slight delay. So I have my computer set up here so I can see what you see. All right, that's better. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. Someday, probably not, but I would have this great big table and studio set up and it will make it so much easier. Um, but for now, we're using what I have, which works really. All right. So I received, you can see it, okay. I received this birthday card, which I loved from Jim, Stamping Jim, as sometimes we call him. I don't know if you're watching, but shout out to Jim. And I loved it. And then upon closer look, I noticed that the seahorse was cut out with the marble paper and the fish were cut out with marble paper. And then he did this really cool technique on the background, which I'm not gonna do, but I'll tell you what he did. Hopefully you can see it, it's cause it's a little shiny. Um, he used the embossing folder that we will use today, the um, seashells ones, I forget what it's called. But what he did is he took this whole background paper and took his Versamark ink pad and covered the whole thing. Then he put clear embossing powder all over the whole piece of paper, heated it, so then the whole piece was just shiny, and then he ran it through with his embossing folder. So we got the texture, but it's really cool because 
and this is, I had to ask him because I wasn't sure, because there's white, there's, it, it just kind of like sanded off some, or at least that's what it looks like. So it has this really cool technique. So yeah, oh good, you can see it. So I loved it. And then I thought, um, and that's what I do. Like I, I save all your cards. I look at them for inspiration. And either I'll copy exactly or I'll take parts out. And that's what's fun to me is to take parts out and kind of make it my own. So this is what I came up with. Similar, but different. You can see where I was inspired. Um, so I did the same thing. I did the marble paper, but I used both sides for the seahorses because today's Tuesday. So I thought I would have two seahorses. Um, and I used the same embossing folder, but I used the marble paper. So it's subtle, but it's there, but it's subtle. And then I just added extra fish. So that's kind of, that's where my idea came from this morning to do today's live. And then of course, and this is what always happens. I get an idea and then I keep making more and more and more and more. So then I made this one which I really like, similar, right? So I used just the blue marble paper. So I embossed it with the background. And then, um, and I'll show you these dies. They come with both the seahorse and the fish, and actually the little fish and the coral. So I just used, actually I can show you, I used more of the dies. So these are the dies. Um, I'm gonna be all over the place. So this is a bundle. Um, you can, sometimes I just use these by themselves as I did here. Um, or you can use them with a stamp set. They're um, starting in March. There's a sale, of course, because it's March's National Crafting Month. So of course we need to have a sale. So Stampin' Up um, is putting select items on sale at 20% off. And this happens to be, I found out after I planned it, um, this bundle will be 20% off all of March, um, which is cool. It's one I like. And so um, anyways, so this became this, and so then, let's see, let me move these up. Then I made this one, again, using the two sides of the marble paper. I tried it with um, other colors and it was too busy. So I thought the gray tone would um, kind of tone it down a little bit. And so hopefully you can see embossed in the background are, it's, it's a mini embossed, it actually comes in a pack of two. And one says thanks in all different languages and this one says hello in all different languages. So hopefully you can see that. So that's what I used to emboss the background. And then I just cut a whole bunch of fish using those same dies in the coral. And that's kind of where I came up with that one. And then there was one more, because I couldn't stop. Um, I made this one. I started to put these fish on this color. Um, and again, it's embossed with that thank you um, folder. It was too busy with the color, so I needed to tone this one down and I'm actually happy with it. So I just used one fish, um, which is the, with the marble paper in the background. So you can see, um, and we're gonna make some cards, that you can use this marble paper, not just necessarily as a background paper, but to actually for your cutouts. And that's what I think is neat because everyone's gonna be different. Right? Like every fish is different anyway, so they all look a little different. All right, so let's move these around. We're gonna make, how many cards we're gonna make? Oh, you know what I didn't bring up? We're gonna improvise. I didn't bring up a base. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with whatever is at my fingertips. I forgot to bring up a base navy blue <laughs> card stock. Um, and I'll show you just real quick because I have it right here. So the celebration ends February 28th. So that's in six days. That's going to be March. And so all these things are free, but here's the marble paper. So you get all of these, I think it's 48 sheets of, um, you get the six different colors. And then these are some more designs. We made an otter card a couple weeks ago. Um, I just love this one. Actually, I talked with someone um, who's going to make this card. It'll be kind of fun. So that's, anyways, that's a celebration paper. Okay, so let's move these aside. Well, we might just make the, the fronts of the cards because I did not bring up the base. All right, I'll just grab my paper trimmer. 
Put that aside. So we're gonna make I'm gonna make this one, but with different colors. And that way I just figured you can see different aspects of it. So we're gonna use that blue, which is my favorite. And I'm gonna just cut it for like a regular card front. Let's see, how do I want the swirls to be? Hmm, for the, I'm just thinking for the water. That's how I did it on, well, I'll just do it that one. All right, so a card front would be, I cut it four inches wide by five and a quarter, standard first layer of a card. All right. And then we'll save these scraps for something else. Yet to be determined. Actually, what I could do is just, sometimes I put like a little, um, this one's too short, but sometimes I put a little swirl and that's probably what I'll end up doing with it. All right. And then what else do we need? That might be it for the paper trimmer. And then we're gonna use, I was, I was hoping to use, look how light and cute and my mini embossing machine. Um, and I also found out that sale I was talking about, um, this mini machine will be 20% off also. So it is regularly $60. On sale in March, it will be $48, which is nice. Or if you want the mini machine during February, it will qualify you for the marble paper or something, some other celebration paper. But I have to use my bigger machine because of this folder. This is a standard embossing folder. It's a little bit too wide. So that's why they um, they came up with the mini folders. So these ones fit perfectly in there. So, but we'll see, maybe we'll use that later. So the mini one works great for these videos because it doesn't take up as much room. All right, so this is the bigger one, the standard. And I actually did a blog post today, or I wrote it last night, but I put my um, email today about the, all the different plates that you're gonna use for the um, the cutting machines because some people get, and I don't blame them, get a little confused. So there are diagrams, um, but it's a little confusing because it's la different, like four different languages and, and this and that. But anyways, there are diagrams that tell you um, what sandwich you need with the different plates. And then like that has a number one on it. And so there, each plate has like different numbers. So that's four, those are three, this is two. Um, so that's helpful. So for the embossed folder that I lost, there we go. So this is a 3D folder. And I know that because it says it in the catalog, it will say, I forget what it's called. So it's called Shells 3D or like Sea Life 3D or they always specify 3D. So I write 3D in a paint marker on my embossing folders. And I also wrote it on this plate because then when I go to take up my embossing folder, I see it's 3D. It just triggers that I need to use this gray plate so I don't have to think. And I did the same thing on my mini plates. Aren't they just so cute? So um, I wrote 3D and I even circled it on here so I know when I have a 3D, which I actually, oh, I do own one, but these are the standard. The 3D just means that they're thicker. Um, so it just triggers in my mind what plates to use. All right, so to use a 3D embossing folder on the big machine, I need plate one, which is the big one. Actually, it says it down here and I wrote 3D down here. So you need plate one, the embossing folder, and plate four, which is that dark one. So we don't need those clear plates. Okay, so that's a little explanation what I wrote about. So I'm gonna put this in here. We actually used this embossing folder a couple weeks ago as well. We made those shell cards. So plate, folder, plate, and then run through. And then when it comes out, it actually looks, well, that's the inverse, but it looks pretty on that side, but I really like it on the, on this dark swirly side. So it's very subtle, but I kind of want it because if it wasn't with all the, the seahorses, it would be, that would be way too busy. So 
so we are, I was just seeing if I had, I don't know if that's, could do a white card. Although I like it on the blue. I'm just trying to see if I had any paper up here. It's like the only piece. Hmm. Well, we'll think about it. I may just go back and do it later. All right. So, oh, we have to cut some more. And actually, I can cut with a little one on this one. I'm going to cut some seahorses. All right. So, again, these kind of, the, the machines work the same. So, I just, that's kind of why I want to show you how they both work. And so, again, these are all labeled. So, the, the difference is this white one is much thinner, but it's a different um, with a sandwich. So we're gonna cut the seahorses. So I wanna use that one plate. We use plate two. Get my seahorse out. And we need paper. All right. Actually, I do need to cut this because it fits through the big machine, but it doesn't fit the whole way through the little machine. So I'm just gonna cut that in half. Actually, I'm gonna cut the, on this one, cause I'm gonna do more of that too. So we'll just cut that in half, okay. This is definitely live stamping. I try to prep as best I can, but <laughs> I always need to do more. Okay, so I'm gonna put my seahorse on here. I'm gonna put the other top, other plate too. And then I'm gonna crank it through. And the thing about the seahorse and that big fish that come with here, the set is, I think it's kind of neat actually. It stays connected. You'll see that it pops up, but there are I think four points where it is connected um, because you can have a really cool effect if you put, you know, other, well not that paper, but if you had other paper behind it and I've done that, it's cool. And I'll, I'll do more with this um, next month because it's on sale and so, um, I'm going to show you how to cut, out, cut it out in a second. But for this card, I want two seahorses of similar color, but not identical, because I think they would, it would, you wouldn't see the difference. So I'm just using the opposite side of that marble paper. And then while I have this out, I'm also going to cut one of the... Um, Coral. So with your plate, see how it kind of bowed a little bit? I'm gonna get all these pieces. So you flip it over, or you can even have that one be thought. You want to keep rotating your plates, and so that will help with the um, bowing. All right. So I was just trying to decide if I wanted what which side. Actually, we we'll probably do two. We'll do both sides, and then we'll decide. I don't have extra pieces too to make more. It's not bad to have extra pieces. All right. This one cuts all the way out. Isn't that cool? And then I'm gonna cut this side too. And then we'll decide which one we want to use. Put that over. and that feeding in. There we go. Sometimes it gets stuck and you just need to give it a little push. All right, so I think we are done. We'll see with that. So all these pieces, and I have extra fish cut if we're gonna use the fish. All right, so now we have, oh, that looks cool. We have the two sides of the coral, and then these all, they actually lift up if you wanna lift them all up. They don't come out. And then we have the two seahorses. Let's move these away. And so what we do with the seahorses, so again, they're kind of attached in like four different points. 
You take your scissors and you just give a little snip. And it's pretty intuitive of where you need to cut. And forgiving too. So that snip and then this one. So that's one and then we'll just cut this one. In the catalog, I think it shows both. It shows um, samples of the seahorse cut up, but also with it attached with a paper underneath. I think it might show it with a fish. All right, so those are the two seahorses. And the same thing like with the fish that's attached at four different points, you do the same thing. So then we'll just take out our little pieces here quickly. I looked up, I googled seahorse to just to check on the colors. Um, I don't really know if there's a purple seahorse in existence, but I like this. <laughs> I like the look of it. Um, but there certainly are pink and the whole bunch of pink ones and yellow ones, brown ones. Um, so this might be more uh, appropriate of a color and same with coral like there's all different color corals all right so we have our we're just, all right we're just gonna put it on here because it's gonna look to me look funny if I don't finish it off all right so let's see this is thin white but that's okay so I'm gonna score it have to replace this with my scrap white in case I ever ran out of white up here so I'll have to replace that all right so this one I'm gonna glue down and with the embossed paper there's a lot of embossing on here a lot of raised points I find that the glue works really good if you're going to use some sort of um, tape runner whether it be seal or the old snail or something just put a, a decent amount of adhesive on it because there's a lot of like raised parts you just want it to stick good but the glue does a really good job. All right. So now we can just kind of play. So let's see. Here's my purple seahorse. I did the lighter one on the front, but on this one, I think I like the lighter one on the back. And I'm going to put some coral down. Let's see if we want, or maybe it's not even coral, it's seagrass. Let's see if we want the darker color. The darker color might be better than the lighter color. What I did on this one, I used one of each. So I used the darker one on top and the lighter one on the bottom. And I only really glued them on the bottom so that they could kind of flow with the, the water. All right, question is, oh, and what I also did, which is too late to do, well, I had one go off the paper, so I snipped it so that they weren't exactly level. So I could do that. So I just don't want it to be too busy. All right, that might be all right. So I'm gonna snip, get rid of some of that. And I have that. Okay, so I might have to snip that some more, but we'll see. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm only gonna put glue on on the bottom. I'm going to raise this one up a little bit because then if we want to put the seahorse in front of or behind, we have that option. Put that level with what I just cut. It fits in there and I'll just snip a little piece off there so it fits in the envelope. There we go. Okay, so that looks good. Yeah, I think I'll put one behind and one in front. Okay, I should be using my mat because I'm gonna get glue all over my surface. All right, so I'm just gonna put glue kind of on the wide parts otherwise if I put glue on all these little 
spines or I don't know what you call it. I'm gonna end up with glue all over the place. I'm gonna tuck that one up behind. Okay, and then I'm gonna use some mini glue dots. Oh, let's see, I have actually two darker pinks. Which ones do we like? That one has more stripes. I think the stripes is kind of interesting. I'm gonna put some glue dots on here to raise it up a little bit. So same thing, I'm gonna kind of put them on the wide parts. I think I might have to snip this one a little bit. And then I noticed there was one piece, there we go. All right, so I'll take these guys off. And let's put this on top. Let's see, I want it at a different level. Oh, my tail's just gonna go up because I don't have I'm gonna put a little glue and see if it sticks to the sea grass. All right, there we go. And I didn't, let's see, I didn't bring any ink up. Oh, no. Uh, I wasn't planning on stamping on the front. I was going to stamp on the inside. But let's see. I think we need like a fish or two, but... We need a different color. So the colors I have are yellow. Let's see. Let's just cut our fish real quick out of the green. And then that will be all done. All right, do you guys craft like this? You kind of make decisions on the fly, change your mind. I do that all the time. All right, so our fish, there comes two fish on a die, and I think I might want them a little bit more solid. So I'm gonna pick the solid, just because there's kind of a lot going on in that card. Tone it down a little bit. And then we'll decide how many fish we want. I don't think I want two, right? Because we have two and we have two. So we need something to kind of balance. A lot of times I just throw them on my table and they pop out. All right, so let's see. So we're either gonna do one or three. Well, it's subtle. And then these guys, are swimming. So the dies that is the, whoop, they're both swimming in opposite directions, like the, the fins on the top. So I don't think I want them in the opposite direction. So either I could flip them over. Oh, I like that. And I think I'm going to do one more and that will balance it up because I didn't bring any gems or anything, but our numbers are good. So I think I want it dark again. Let's find, so I want him to be the smaller one. I think I want this one, yep. And we'll save the other fish for later. All right, you guys still with me? Almost done. That's, keep doing that because I'm not lining them up. I'm being a little impatient. The other, the big machine, you have a little bit more flexibility. Let's do this correctly. All right. Ooh, I have something sticky on my paper. There we go. 
I was not lining up my peaks. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it's not gonna work on this table, it's too soft. My wood table downstairs, they just fly right out. Okay. Yeah, three is better. Okay, so we're gonna go like that. So I'm gonna, and I'll probably pop this one up. So let's just put that on a dimensional. This one I'm gonna tuck behind him. A little bit. And then this one will be down a little bit. Okay, there we go. So what do you think? It's a little busy. And so I think the words would have introduced a little bit more busyness. And so it will be a little bit toned down on the inside. Um, I even think gems would kind of make it too busy. So I think it's good. May I mean, maybe you could put like a little white, maybe actually, cause it's what you might be able to put a little white strip with some words on the bottom. That might work. Um, but I didn't bring any ink up. So let me show you all these cards. I wanted to show you that you can use the the marble paper as cutouts. It doesn't just have to be background. So hopefully, let me get them all out. Then I have, look at, I have all these extras. So I'm going to be making a whole bunch of seahorse cards. <laughs> and a couple fish cards. So let's see. Can I get them all on camera? All right, let's see. Love it, Mary Lou. Oh, awesome. It was great without the little fish. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, sometimes like sometimes you just have to take things away. Um, I think that's all the cards, right? Oh, and the one that Jim made me. This was the original. Put that in there too so you can see it. Um, so they're kind of fun. They have slightly different feel to them depending on what you put on there. But the marble paper is fun. Um, it's fun as background paper um, that you've been seeing. But again, it's kind of fun to cut out different shapes. I was trying to think you might some flowers will look cool, right? Because the, the swirly gives you dimension. So some of the um, like the poppies dies the sun. Oh, the sunflower dies would be great in that yellow. I'm gonna have to do that. And actually, the sunflower bundle is will be on sale next month The celebrate sunflowers. I will let you guys know next week in my email what's on sale. I just looked at it quickly. But that one I remember because I have it. So I know. Um, so you can kind of play with it and see what other cutouts would look nice. And I'll I'll put some up on Facebook as I make them too. All right, so let's see, wrap up. This is the end of February. So what else is going on? End of celebration, which I know you guys know, but um, spend $50 and you get a free product from the, I lost it, the celebration catalog. Um, or spend, or $100, you can get two items or one of the $100 items and so forth. Um, if you join Stampin' Up! during February, you can choose two extra any stamp sets to go with your starter kit. So that's a great deal. Um, plus, you'll be part of my team. Oh, and we have our team meeting tonight. I have to send that email out. We uh, meet once a month online. We'll be meeting tonight. Um, I think those are the two things in February. Plus, my February special, um, if you order $100... Then I will send. Then you choose your celebration items, but I will also send you um, an online class showcasing the cactus. Although you don't need the cactus set, um, it's an accordion fold, a post-it note holder, and an easel mini easel card, plus a spool of ribbon and gems. Brought them last week to show, but I didn't bring them up. But there, it's all over Facebook. Just look for the pictures. Um, so I think those are the three things that are happening um, for the rest of February. All right. I have been rambling on. So, um, oh, gl I'm glad you like them all, Debbie. Excellent. And you like Cynthia, Cindy said, I love all the seaside sets. I, it's a great set, um, especially like I live in New England, so it definitely kind of um, works here because we have so much sea life. Um, but even everyone in Florida, I don't even know if we have seahorses, but um, it's a great set for a lot of people. Oh, hi, Anne. I see that you're on. Thank you for joining. All right, just going through 
the comments. Okay, great. I think I saw you all. Thank you for joining. Um, I will not be taking my walk, as I mentioned at the beginning, because it, now it is really raining. Oh, darn. Um, so instead, I will make a cup of tea. <laughs> It's always a good reason for a cup of tea. And um, I'll post pictures of all this stuff for you guys. All right, and I'm going to, if anyone's on the team who's watching, I will also share our link for our meeting tonight. All right, um, have a great day. Have a wonderful rest of February. And I will see you next week. Uh, I think it's March 1st next week. Um, so I'll see you then, and we'll come up with a project to do. Thank you. Let's have a good day. Bye.